Hello folks, Hot Rod Rodney coming back to you with another video. Um, this is going to be a mail call video from New York, um, State and Allen, to be exact. I um, think that's how you pronounce that, Staten, Staten. Well, anyway, um, this came from... A guy on YouTube known as Big Bill Graham. Um, he sent me the ties that you probably seen in the two um, It's Going Down videos that he has recently posted um, on his Brady yard that he is tearing up at the entrance and exit of it. Um, he was nice enough to send me the old ties that he was tearing up. And I'll show you what idea, one idea that I have for him um, here in a couple minutes. Um, but you can see I've got, um, there's some in there. Um, not a lot, but you know, there's there's some in there. But, um, I wasn't expecting, um, this to be sent. Um, he surprised me with a SW1500 switcher. And this is a lifelike switcher. Um, it, it has to be a more advanced, um, lifelike because the, uh, the older lifelikes do not look like, you know, um, like this, that I, that I'm aware of, um, but it has knuckle couplers, um, and all the, gra the railings and grab irons and steps and all that good stuff is on here. Um, it's a number 319 Erie switcher, um. And the name, the, the railroad name don't, you know, it don't matter. Um, cause my, my layout's a freelance layout and I run, you know, everything from, um, Western Maryland to BNSF, BNSF, Union Pacific stuff, um, I, I, you know, if I like an engine and I know it'll run on my layout, it more likely gets bought at a train show or, you know, if it's a good price at my hobby shop. But, um, he told me in his letter that this did not run, um, and it could be converted to D um, DCC if I wanted to. I'm not DCC at the present time. Um, don't know if I ever will be. Um, but that's another story for another time. If it would ever happen. But um, these, all these wires was wired together. The black to the red with the gray. Okay. Well, the gray is going to the hot side of your motor. The black would have to be ground, and the red would have to go to the gray one that's on the hot side of the motor. Okay, um, I unwired all of it, rewired it temporarily just to um, test it with test wires, and it took off across the platform when I when I grounded it to. The one out or um one test wire to the um chassis. So I gotta put the black wires on the chassis somehow, and the reds go to the other side with the gray wire, so the pickups will um work the engine. But when I tested it, it took off across the platform. It wasn't even on the track. So that, you know, that told me she's ready to go. Some lubrication. 
and so forth. Um, I already checked the wheels and stuff like that out. Don't seem to be, you know, um, any dirt or anything. Of course, Big Bill takes care of his stuff. I've never seen um, any of his engines ever giving problems um, being DCC. So, um, he's, he's a generous, nice guy. Um, I love his videos. Um, even though I ain't DCC, guys, I watch a lot of DCC videos, especially if it involves switching, like, um, Vinny, a.k.a. BNSF, SF, um, has been doing, um, check his channel out, and being, BNSF 6951, um, he has four, um, session videos on there um very interesting very cool videos um and check big bill graham out at south brooklyn railroad aka catastrophe railroad so anyway big bill if you watch this video um I've got this engine running, and if you don't get to watch my video, then I will send you an email um, prior to this video so you know that I did do a video on as a mail call. Um, and here's an idea, guys, just so you know. See how this is... Coda 83 flex track. Okay. You could either set it up like this to make it look like it's an old fence, or you could take a couple minutes or some time and connect it all back together, something like that. And when you set it up, you'll have a straight fence. See how it looks? It'll be with this piece right here. It looks like slats and a fence. Your main, your main pieces of your peat, um, your main braces go across the top and bottom of a fence like this normally. Um, maybe more. I don't know, but. It looks like wooden fence to me. Um, so, you know, you can put this around houses, industrials, um, really anywhere that you want a wooden looking fence. So, that's just an idea, guys, that I had for some of this. Um, I don't know if I'll use it all for that, maybe. Um, but you can tell... Since the ties are already weathered, um, you know, you can, you can weather them up more, um, and it don't matter if it's code 83 or code 100 or anything like that, it all looks the same, um, when you do a fence, so, but yeah, it, I think it'll look pretty cool going around, you know, going around, um, Anything, really. I mean, anything with a wooden fence look. Um, so, anyway, guys. I'm going to end this video by saying, again, thank you, Big Bill Graham, for sending me the ties and this engine that I wasn't expecting. Um, I will put it to good use because this is probably the first axle um, big switcher that is now going to be going in service on my layout. Um, and I'll probably put it maybe down here over in Abigail Yard, which is kind of a mess right now, but it's going to be, um, that'll be a different video. Um, talking about um, Abigail Yard, 
or Ab in this case, AKA Abby Yard for short. Um, Abigail is my daughter for you all that don't know. Um, I named, I named the area. I'm naming areas on the layout after family members, um, whether they're with us in spirit or still with us. Um, so anyway, thank you guys for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment in the section below, hit the bell for, so you don't miss no new videos on this channel. And thanks for watching. Till the next video, Hot Rod Rodney 25, out.